Well, welcome back everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another Star Wars Minecraft episode. If you remember last time, we started building this super duper shuttle, the cargo shuttle SW0608, and uh, there's a bit of difference there on the front. I've been starting to do the cockpit, which is quite fun, but we've done the, uh, literally the cargo pod underneath, we've done the wings, so now it's about finishing it off and making it look like the uh, film version. So let's go and have a look at what I've done since the last episode. Literally, what I've had to do, and I'm just going to take this out, I've had to look at the side design. Uh, where the, I've got this, I'm going to have to change the ramp, it needs to be slightly uh, longer ramp rather than that. But one thing of note is the cockpit uh, slides up, it's very narrow cockpit and it really doesn't go any higher than this line here with the uh, lighter paint job. It is quite a low profile. So what have I had to do to ensure that amps? Well, first of all, I'm gonna take this out because uh, this is was too high, you can see with the floor. So I've gotta be very careful uh, and I've gotta be very careful about what I take out where, because when we take the blocks out, uh, it doesn't leave as much to play with, but that was, if that was right, that was put under there, so I need to be very careful. Uh, in fact, what I might have to do is put a, instead of that, put a normal block in there, yeah, to match up that side like that. Let's just put that in there, so that sort of matches that, and then the incline, I've done three, three, two, one, one, and make it come up. Uh, to get it exactly right with the cockpit. The cockpit slopes up and also what I've been very clever is to do like a shape just to make it, just make the floor fit in. So when you climb up here, you come up into the cockpit like this and to see in there in the cockpit. The pilot's got quite a almost claustrophobic area. So when we put this across, I'm gonna bring this across here like that. And then after that point, I'm gonna make it come up a bit more but uh, yeah so the literally come up there and then I'll be able to put the other see the glass the glass is set in there we've got the front cockpit as well the glass is really narrow I'm really surprised for a, a beastie Star Wars you don't get much to look out the side so so that's I've had to lower this floor to get that exactly right so this floor in here remember it's quite tight here I've had to make sure that it all fits in. So we're quite happy now that I've got the fitting in bit. I just need to finish off the cockpit to match it. And I'm using those fantastic drawings and there's two guns on the side as well. So I'm looking at some side views, uh, which is quite difficult. If you remember last time for those watching, we finished off the the pods where the, uh, ooh, the kyber crystals get stored so that's all right so funny enough there was there's a all the engines and everything are on this level here which is above this skin which is going to be hollow for us so i just thought i'd do that level there i just want to leave it open take that that one there uh, there is a wall actually not that it's a wall just around about you come up inside and then there's a there's this stairway here and a seating area here. So the wall, we need to sort of wall. Now how did I do that one down there? Oh, I used that, that was quite good. So let's just do the wall. It's just around about here. Yeah, so if we do that and that, and then that means I can get the inside done. And then this is the engine at the back. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit more of the cockpit. I haven't done the rear of it yet. I'm going to do a bit more of the cockpit to get it exactly right. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go up one more level here to there. There you go, like that. So that's going to have to come up. So I'm going to do a bit more of the cockpit. The cockpit also sort of goes, uh -huh, there, so it goes this way as well and then comes out. So I'm, And it's got another piece of glass here for this particular bit. So what I'm going to do is a bit more and then I shall go back and show you what I've done with the cockpit view. So here we go everybody, it's taking shape. You can see from this we've done the nose cone and I've done quite a bit more because I've started doing the wings as well as you see and I've done the backbone. But let's go and have a look at the nose cone first of all. 
Uh, I've tried to uh, capture the sort of shape and size of it compared with the rest of the ship. Uh, I sort of thought about uh, this bit here was quite hard in that uh, I was trying to make it sort of half like a step to here but you can't because it sort of looks a bit weird if I did that. Mind you it probably is a bit better in it. Should we leave it like that? Yeah there we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, I was trying to make it, I tried something else before, it didn't work. So there's the cockpit there, and you can see now the shape of the side. What I've got to do though is the, because that literally comes in line with the wings when the wings are up, and you will notice, look, I've put the, it's almost like wind protectors. They're sort of strengthening bits, which richly put the rigidity between the wings when they fold down. Now we're going to be able to do a fold down version as well because I'm going to do that quite easily. Uh, but you can see then I've put in this groove here because the wings literally fold down. What I haven't done is the motorized section here. I'm just going to try something out with that. So that's like the wing bit there. And if we come around here, I've done it on both sides, so you can now see from the end, we have got it pretty, it's looking pretty good now, I'm pretty impressed. I've got to do the steps as well, the steps really should come down to about here. Yeah, so what I might have to, what I'm just going to have to do is, that, I think that's where they have to sort of come down to. Yeah, that's better. So... I'm going to redo the steps, which are a bit complicated. Uh, what do oh, we haven't shown you inside yet? Because I've put the wall. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's go. Let's go back outside and go. How are you supposed to go into this thing? So let's just go up the steps. So you come into the area here. Uh, I've put. That's what I decided to do. Put this cabling on here. It just made it a lot better, really. Put it on that side as well. I haven't put any lighting in here yet, which is a bit. Bit more difficult so what I might end up doing because if I do that oh actually yeah that would be good wouldn't it because I could actually that should be the same on both I don't understand why it's not let's go and have a look underneath the ship over here uh, oh yeah no, that doesn't that sort of is mm. okay that needs to have that like that then. That's it. And then we'll put I just had that underneath like that in time. Oop, that's no good. Oh, I'll put that like that like that. And in fact I'll put some more light in as well. It'll be pretty good when it's flying. Right, so we've done the wings here. I've got to do a bit more work over here. This if we go back down to here where we were, because it's like that, right, a bit more light. Might end up putting something like that there uh, by the stairs. That would be in the flight then. So there's the, I haven't put the door in here. I was just going to put in, uh, just put a, oh, like a sliding door really, just have a sort of a barrier there, like so, to sort of present it to have a door. And then you go up the steps, of course, into the cockpit area, which is still not lit. Uh, this is all, again, this will be a bulkhead. So I'll just do that now. So, yeah, that's about right. So that would be a bulkhead. And then here's the pilot area. But I haven't put any, haven't put any uh, computers or anything yet. Uh, this will be the cockpit here. Oh, I've not had rain on this map for ages. I wonder where that's come from. What I might do is just do no that doesn't work so I might just have to do that so I'm gonna come and do that we don't hit that by accident so that's the car this is like where all the engines and powerhouses are at the back here so if I just do that up to like that that's not like a fancy bit and I might put some engine engine wear in here but not sure yet so and the back is quite stubby might have to come out a bit more like it might need just to come oop, like that I think that's probably why it is so what I'm going to do is going to do a bit more uh, and then come back and show you what I've done to it so we're starting to look like the shuttle I might I might still 
the wings might just go one higher. I might do that. We shall see. Right, I should be back soon with the alterations. So welcome back. Here's the one we built, and here's a few more. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you those in a minute because I'm doing different ones. You can see that one's taking off. Uh, the second one will be, and we'll go to that, will be the landed one like this. But let's just show you around this one before we go to the other three, which will be the final versions. So this is the landed version as it is, looking super cool. Oh, yes, I have raised, you might notice, these have now gone up a whole five blocks. Uh, to get the shape in to get it exactly or almost exactly right. I probably could have done one more block, but I haven't uh, And of course you've probably seen loads of new stuff. So I've got guns got turret guns here and here Which we've just put on uh, we've put the barrel mechanism here Which the wings will fold out and come down which I'm going to show you before the end of this episode We're going to have an open wing or flying version as well Which is quite hard because I can't use MC edit because the MC edit flips this way and flips that way, but it won't flip it that way. And even if I turn it around, it still won't flip it. <laughs> but uh, there we go. So there's the. This is like the mechanism where uh, the wings go round a circular barrel. Uh, so what? Oh, also on the top. Yeah, I've done quite a lot because you can see on the top of here. I've done the struts either side. So when the wings go out, these hydraulics assist the wings keeping up right and they're on the uh, high detail plan within the rogue one star wars rogue one ultimate visual guide there's a, a shot of the ship from above and you can see these particular areas here and here uh, you can also see now it depends which one you've got but uh, on the on the toy one and the other one they've put these orange areas there. i thought i've put the orange one in even though the the plain one was just grey and I've also made the top of it look pretty look militaristic and pretty rigid uh, we've got these struts going along here which you can see inside part of the engine bay is here and I'm going to show you there and if we come out the back here we have the engines main engines there uh, which you'll see on the others so the fact that I've now elongated the wings uh, I've finished off the top and made it quite chunky and put a quite a bit of uh, detail in there on both sides you can see the struts or the hydraulics here which when the wings go down the hydraulics will go out so let's just go inside and show you the difference inside so we've got the stairway uh, there's a glass here just to, I've put a glass in here to show you upstairs uh, that bit I'll show you for that in a minute what it looks like but we finished the seating area in here as such and then you go up into the cockpit and I've sort of had a go uh, I've sort of there's two chairs a center console here we haven't got the detail and there's a center console here actually just like that yeah that's it uh, and then the seating there's a control panel over here and uh, I just put some like metal flooring in here use the uh, trap doors on top of the slabs which is quite good as well so you can actually see quite a lot in here and out the door so let's just nip through here uh, show you what I've done in the back of here you can see here they've done like I've left it open uh, the engines the hyperdrive engines would be in here and there'd be loads of stuff uh, but I'm not putting that in there you can see down there the kyber crystal carriers which are down below in the pod I sort of left it open for people to see when you download it and there's a glass there. I thought it would make it more interesting doing it that particular way. So let's go back down here. Uh, and you, you saw the kyber crystals in here. Both sets of kyber crystal carriers are now here. So there they are. They're all in with the sliding door, door there. Right, so let's go and show you the other one. So I've got a takeoff. This is the this will be the takeoff one as such which is just taking off so I hope you like that uh, so that will be in the download pack you'll be able to go to my planet minecraft and download these for yourselves if I will say though if you want to use them in videos and such please give me credit to my channel uh, and my planet minecraft and who I am uh, this has taken a lot of hours where can you see the detail I put into my Star Wars ships uh, all of them are really high detail uh, so if you do download and use them please credit me that's all I ask so this is going to be this is the landed version as we saw over there we're keeping that the same 
Uh, I took the wheel, took the wheels and everything off this. Look, so it's literally taking off. So that's pretty cool. And this one is the one that I'm going to have to do the flying open wings, which is going to be quite hard. Well, it's not going to be that hard, I suppose, once I get going. So somehow I've got to use the pivot of that there. So that's got to swing and then that's got to literally come out one, two. Uh, so you see now I've got to do sort of, I'm going to do sort of a, uh, oh, that's it. That's got to drop down and pivot out there as well. So we'll be able to, what I'm going to have to do is quickly do a template. And of course the wings drop down as well. So it's quite interesting. So guys and girls, I've really gone to town on this model. Uh, we've got, uh, and I'll show you more, we've got one, two, three, four, five models uh, which will be available and including the flying one with the drop wings. So uh, yeah, I've done quite a lot. So let's go and start over here with the flying or landing. It's just about to land and the wings go up in the air or just about to take off and the wings go up in the air. There you go. No feet coming out at all I've uh, sort of what I've done is redone remodeled the front and I've put some lighting on it when the ramps down you don't see the lights but when the ramps up the lights are done so I have sort of remodeled the front of it so we've sort of got it dead right now so that's the first one the second one is fully landed and you can walk on board uh, with the uh, the uh, we call them wheels and so not wheels the uh, landing pads down there we go so we're happy with those you know and then I've done two new ones uh, now the wings they, they have, I had to play around with these and drop them one again but I've got the wings this is when they're literally flat out the side this was quite easy to do because all I did was take the wings down reproduce them and then put and made some extra bits to make it look like because the idea is that's probably this should come down one more but uh, I think it looked quite good like that so I left it as it was remember I had the uh, I said about the hydraulics and the hydraulics the wing comes out and down so the hydraulics pump out and then the hydraulics would bring them back up into the upward position so let's go and have a look around the front of this so you can see the wings drop down on each side this is actually you wouldn't have it like this but maybe it's in for service so the wings have been dropped down when they've landed and I've done it on both sides once I've done the one side here I was able to use the MC edit and flip it and mirror it but uh, yeah that's I'm very very uh, very very happy with how they have turned out to say the least it's uh, I haven't don't usually do the, the wings that move all the previous vehicles have had uh, steady or uh, solid wings so let's have a look at this one this is now retracted the landing gear has been retracted and it's just taking off as such or you can have it flying like that and then of course when it's at high altitude or flying out uh, the wings are literally down at either side so they post down now that's slightly more harder to do but uh, you can see I've just about achieved it and uh, what I've done with that is to get the wings looking like they're aligned it's putting these single slabs in here and on top uh, to get that like that so you can now play around with these to your heart's content uh, the engines are running so I could have them I didn't actually put one high in the sky but what I'm going to do is literally I'm going to put them all in a schematic so I'm going to be able to put them up onto planet minecraft might take me a couple of days to get these up on planet minecraft I'll leave the link in my description but uh, I think it again it is a, it's been a really hard ship to do if you have a look at if you think about the size of this thing 35 meters uh, which is comparable to the Y-Wing 
in terms of size and also this uh, from the Force Awakens this particular ship over here and the Millennium Falcon so this, the size had to be comparable so it's quite hard to do to be honest so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to make this available what I'm going to do is the schematic there'll be one schematic where you'll have all five ships in and then see if I what I can do is if I do a zip file I'll put the other schematics in so I will put them as five separate ship schematics as well so you can play around with them hope you've enjoyed these two episodes it's taken a quite a lie, long time to actually do this but I think it's been well worth it to say the least uh, so we'll be back to uh, Jurassic World Jurassic Park in the next episode and I'm looking to look at another Star Wars vehicle to bring into my worlds but I do like this and I do like it the fact that it's turned out in fact let me just go to night time just to show you I forgot to mention they're all lit up so you can actually see these in the dark as well uh, not completely there's a bit maybe you won't, might want to do something with the models but at least you can sort of see them and I like the orange underneath the pods as such so there we go I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you very much indeed for watching uh, lots more to come in 2017 bye bye for now